G'day legends, Will Kitching here. Welcome back to another video and thank you so much for joining us. Now, as you would have seen from the title, we're out chasing dolphin fish or mahi mahi in this video. So it's very exciting. They put up a really fun fight and there's plenty of action coming your way, but there's also plenty of tips throughout the video about our baits, our rigs, our gear, uh, the techniques. So make sure you stay tuned for those throughout the video as well. Now, funnily enough, we actually went out chasing snapper early in the morning and they really were not playing the game, but we did manage one nice one before we ended up heading out and chasing the dolphin fish. So I'll start off by showing you that quickly. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yep. Oh, little buggers. Eat it. Yeah. Oh, that's a good show there. You're not too bad. I don't know where. Oh, yeah. Not big. That's a good show. Yeah. He's alright, this one. He'll be illegal, I think. Panny. There's that one guys, not a bad little one to start, little panty, a couple of nice tasty felts on that, so we're going to do the royal treatment of a brain spike and bleed, and then put it straight on ice, so yeah. Alright, so i got this tool here called the Icky Pick, which is a Icky Jima brain spike, so we're going to put this guy out of his misery, but it also, you know, stops them from releasing a stress hormone I've learnt. So brain spiking them, killing them straight away, and bleeding them gives you the best fillets. So you see there, that's just got him. He'll have a bit of a flick, but he is gone straight away. That's just nerves now. He's done. They might change colour a little bit too. He's just gone a bit lighter. So yeah, I'll leave a link to the icky pick in the description, but they're awesome. I'll bleed him now. The heart still pumps for a bit. So I'll just drain him out in a bucket there for a bit. As you can see, that blood's still coming out. Really good, actually. That's good. And then once he's bled out for a bit, we'll get him straight in the esky. So after that snapper, we really struggled. We had a red hot crack, tried some other spots, went out into about 60 meters, and we just still couldn't find a snapper. So that's why you always have to try and have a plan B when you're going fishing. And ours this day was to head out to the fads. So uh, luckily it was a good choice in the end. Now, when we first arrived at the fad, we couldn't actually see any fish, but as you're about to see, Dad throws in some small bits of burly and they appeared out of nowhere. So I quickly put a bait on and within seconds, this happened. Yep, yep got it. He ate it, yep. Go on. Yep. yep. Alright. Yes. Go on, nuts. Far out. Right. <laughs> Gotta keep the tension on. He's got mates all around him. Yeah, I'm trying to get along with the camera. Try and get this one for a start. He's just here. Yeah. yeah. Still going hard though for his size. Yeah, I'll let him. Alright. Nice. So as you can see there guys. They go nuts. That's a pretty little dolphin fish. Not tiny, but obviously not huge. But that was really good fun on the light gear there. Just on a circle hook. Now with the fads, a lot of the time you come out here and if there's been boats there all morning, these can get a bit finicky. You know, they um, see plenty of hooks and lures. So um, some days they're tough, but we've come out here. We're actually at the 50 fathoms today off the Gold Coast, which is about 30 kilometers out, which is a fair run. 
Yeah, first bait in the water. I'll show you what we're doing in a second. Dad's just been burlying. And then uh, I just put a cube on and dropped it in and he came up and ate it. So I'll show you now. We're gonna go back up and try and do it again. But I just wanted to catch that one and get one in the boat. So the snapper weren't biting, but that's a nice one. So at times you can catch these dolphin fish within around a 100 meter radius of the fad, but on this day they seem to be sticking a bit tighter to it. Every time we drift away, they'd just sort of disappear a bit. So we just kept going back up, burling and bringing them to the boat. Yeah, I'm just going up just a bit more. All right, so all we're doing here, we pulled up at this fad, Dad's just cutting up little bits of pilly or slimy mackerel and chucking it out. And I'll show you our bait on my head camera. So that's all it is. Bit of the tail, circle hook, just pin lightly and a little bit hidden. You on? Remember, don't strike, just dad's on. Yes. Just jumping, yeah. Nice. He's all right. He's all right. Do you want to just land that or? Oh, no, you get, you get one the back of the boat. So as you can see, it's very effective. They're coming up right to the back of the boat, eating the bits of burley. Then we're putting our bait in front of them. And the key is to make it look exactly like the burley. You don't want to put any pressure on it. You just want a free spool, just unweighted. We've got a circle hook tied straight on the back. Over here. What's going on here? Where's your icky spot thing? Uh, just in the sounder box. Oh, I'm on. Yep. I was just sorting out a tangle. So when the snapper weren't on guys, we thought we may as well come out here and see if there were some dolphin fish around as a plan B. We've just landed two and I've just hooked up to a third and there's plenty around, no other boats. So that's exactly what you want. I'm sure this guy has a couple of jumps or something left in him. Yeah, there's more around. This one's playing up. This one's all right. Got a net. Oh. <laughs> oh, just come here. They're such an awesome fish to catch. Obviously, look at the colours of them. Look at how they fight. Just brilliant. Look at that one. Beautiful and gold. Look what he just threw up. Yeah. Oh, yakka. Yeah. There we go. That's number three on the deck. Dad's got one. Oh, I just got another one here. And man, they fight so hard, even at this size. Jumping, going nuts especially on the light tackle. So those colors are just absolutely magical. Now something about them, which you can probably tell, is they go absolutely nuts. So when you land them, especially if you get a big one, you've got to be very careful with hooks and uh, you know, they got little sharp teeth and stuff, banging stuff around in the boat. So yeah, I'm going to treat this guy with a, whoa, with a brain spike, just like the rest of the fish and bleed him. Get him in the esky, but look at those colors, magical. So we realized they were biting pretty hard. It was not hard to catch them on this day and sometimes it can. So I think something that was working in our favor was we were fishing around a tide change, which is really good for pelagics and a lot of offshore species. That drift, we put two baits out and caught two fish and it was pretty much just a matter of heading straight back over to the fad and repeating the process. Now stay tuned for some bigger fish coming up and some really handy tips. So as I was saying before guys, before we hooked up, that is all it is. Just a tail of a slimy mackerel or pilly. 
Dad's ch cutting up little bits and they're coming in and eating it right at the back of the boat. And we're just dropping that over. Free spool. You right? Yeah. Nice fish. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You want me to net? Nah, Look at them behind yeah. it. Oh, this one. I thought yeah. that was your fish. Hey. Nice. I'll do one of these. Out behind yours a bit. That was on the, the head? Yeah. He didn't hesitate. No. No, not at all. Yep. On. How you going? Yep. Got him? Yep. <laughs> and there's the nutcase coming out in, in him. So fun, um, you know, such a visible fight. The way they eat it, the way they jump and carry on on the surface, and obviously their colours as well. Oh, that's <laughs> mine. I got a bit better one. Oh, yeah, he's a bit bigger. Oh, probably about the same as what you just got, but not complaining. Yeah, this is a bit better fish. The key is, guys, just to keep the pressure on these guys, especially with these circle hooks. Obviously, you don't strike, you just let them eat it and swim off. That rolls into the corner of their mouth. So I'm running a uh, 20 pound braid to 20 pound leader, which is fine for these smaller ones. Dad's got a rod that, you know, we literally just uh, got a tangle on our other rod, so we decided we'll just put a circle hook on this. It's got 40 pound braid and 60 pound leader and they're still hitting it, no worries, so. I've been fighting him for a bit though. He doesn't want to come in, this one. Hopefully he's tired now. He's had a few good runs, this one, and jumps and stuff. Just don't stand on that stuff, do you think? Oh yeah. I'm gonna use that as early when I get back there. Yeah, yeah. That one just threw all that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're throwing our burly up and we're using it again. A bit better. Slightly. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good better one. That's a better one. No. A bit yeah. Doesn't want to come this last little bit, does he? You reckon he'll be fine with the net? Yeah. If you can turn him. In and out. Around this side. Nice. A bit bigger. Yeah, and that hook isn't in the corner of his mouth, it's actually down in him, so I'm a bit lucky, eh? Yeah. And that right there is one nice dolphin fish. Whew. He went really hard on that light gear. He's a little bit bigger. Dad's got a nice one there too, so once again, look at those colours. That is insane. Fins up. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. These are um, you know, a popular fish around the world for many reasons, as you can tell. So yeah, we're going to go back up. As you see, they're absolutely smacking it at the moment. So while they are, we'll try and get some more. We've come a long way today. So uh, yeah, we're more than happy to catch a few of these. Awesome. Now those big ones are actually so fun. They go so hard and put up such a good fight. You just have to make sure that you take your time with them and keep that pressure on so they don't throw the hooks or something like that. We went up for another drift straight away, of course, and once again, a few pieces of burley, not too much, but just a few pieces to get them excited, uh, were absolutely crucial. They're all just here, though. Yeah, just keep chucking a bit of, a bit of that. 
Mm. <laughs> you got one. <laughs> Probably just swim around didn't know he was hooked. I'll get the net for you. Still. It's alright. Hey. Oh yeah, there's more around here now. Nice. Well he that have to be 50 I think. Will you be that? So just to clarify, here in Queensland, dolphin fish have to be 50 centimetres minimum and you're allowed five per person. That one came in at 55 centimetres and was the smallest one of the day. Are you using the heads or tail? Heads. Try that. He's going? All of a sudden? Yeah, I can do it. If you want. <laughs> do you need help? I can do it for you. Yeah. Yeah. I would do your well. Yeah, I got it. Why am I not getting them? A few moments later. I got one. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. There's plenty around again. Oh, he pulled the hook. I got a real good hook set on him too, I thought. Just slowly ate it. And... I got. Oh, I think you're I'm on. on. I'm on. Yeah, you're on. You better, you better get yeah, in before it pulls out. It, no, spit it out. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's all right. Dad's on fire. Hey. Sorry. Oh. Get the pressure on. He's alright. I got one. Wow. Not a bit bigger. That's not bit. Oh, he's a, yeah, he's a bit better. You're right. Yeah. You got him? Yeah. Nice. He took off. I think he's just about the same size. Whew. Here he comes. Oh, yeah, he's all right. Yeah, probably now. No, he's not bad, that one. Yeah, he's alright. He's, no, he's a better one. Yeah, no wonder he took off. Yep, that's a better one. Looks like he wants to come around. <laughs> they don't want to come that last little bit, do they? Wait till he's ready. The circles work well. Yeah, they do, eh? For these, this sort of stuff. I said you were ready. Yeah, <laughs> I was. <laughs> they fight on the surface, don't they? Yeah. You've got lighter gear than me. Yeah. Doing laps. They see the boat and then they gear off. Yeah. Here we go. 
Yeah, I can. Might get him here, possibly. Oh, he does. Around this side. Don't hit the line. No. Just wait. Uh, just let me get in there so I can try and guide him. All right, here we go. Yeah, he's another. He swallowed it again ones. too. He swallowed it. Yeah, I'm getting lucky. Another nice one there, guys. Absolute beautiful fish. You can see that eye, big eye. Very cool fish. And even fish this size, it's been throwing up whole yakas on the floor of the boat. Pretty big yakas, and um, yeah, just must have swallowed them whole. So they're absolutely ferocious feeders when they want to be. It's very much a surface fish. So yeah, very, very cool. <laughs> How good is that? So all of a sudden the fish just stopped biting, stopped coming up to our burley and they just shut down. It could have been because the tide change ended. But I just thought I'd film our drive back in. You want calm days like this when you're heading out wide, both for safety and for comfort reasons when driving around. Here are some of the dollies on the brag mat when we got home. So apologies for the mess, but these things eat everything. Just thought I'd show you just a little bit quickly of uh, what we're doing. So. Dad's taking the fillets off and the skin off, which we've got a pretty cool little trick we'll show you. And I'm doing the rib cages, pin bones, and rinsing it, portioning it up. But anyway, pretty much all we're doing is outlining the fish. So Dad cuts around the outline of the fillet. Nothing new there at all. All right, so here's the interesting part. You've probably seen it before. A few people have shown it on YouTube and TV, but you pretty much grab the top corner of that fillet, the skin just peels away, and you can literally just rip it off like Velcro. It takes a little bit, they're slippery, but it's a lot quicker than uh, skinning the fillet normally. Now that I've got that on camera, he's slipping, but as you can see, he just rips that straight off. The only part of meat that it rips is the belly cavity here, which is uh, a part we don't usually eat anyway and that we cut off with the rib cage. So there you go. Now you just got to take the rest of the fillet off. It ends up over here with me. So there we go, guys. Look at the size of that dolphin fish and its head and mouth and the size of the yakka that it ate. Whole. That is literally swallowed whole. Not bitten in half. All right, I hope you really enjoyed the video. Before we finish, I thought I'd just give you a couple of really quick little tips that I forgot to mention throughout the video that will really help your chances when you're fishing around the fads. So the first one is the dolphin fish at the fads obviously see a lot of boats, a lot of baits, a lot of lures, and they can get a little bit fussy. So if you can go on weekdays or when there's not gonna be many other boats around, maybe the first day after there's been some bad weather or something, that's a really good time to go chase them. And as well as that, that's usually when they're the biggest as well because they grow really quickly. Another good time to chase them is tide changes, as I said through the video, as that's when they can switch on and start to feed a lot. Now, as you saw, we use dead slimy mackerel there cut into pieces throughout the video, but live baits are definitely the best, like yakas and slimies. If you do want to use lures, I've had most success on small three inch or three to four inch paddle tail soft plastics in a pink color or a natural color. Now for this size fish, the gear we were using around 20 pound is fine, but if I had to do it again, I'd up my leader because I nearly got bitten off a couple of times by those bigger ones. At least 30 or 40 pound, I reckon. All right, really hope you guys find those tips helpful. Make sure you share this video with your mates if you think it could help them as well. Leave a like and a comment. I really appreciate when you guys comment and let me know what you thought of the video and uh, ask any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. Until next time, tight lines. I hope you can get out there and do it yourself and I'll see you in the next one.